Hello and welcome again to another screencast from Express Um It's been a while when I recorded last. Uh, today I'm going to be uh, teaching a very interesting topic. Uh, it's how to create a single page website uh, on Drupal. Uh, I'm going to be working with a module called um, single page website. We'll learn how to set up uh, this module so that we can uh, uh, create some very amazing um, sites. Uh, for this tutorial, we can take a look at this sample site. Um, here's a sample site. If I click on CV scrolls, portfolio contacts, uh, yeah, and yeah, so here's another one. What's all about character settings? And so we're going to look at how we can create uh, something. Uh, similar uh, using the single page uh, website module. Uh, to start out, the first thing we want to do is let's create some pages which we will be using for this tutorial. Uh, for this tutorial I'm going to be using panels to create my pages. Uh, so I uh, will create panels, uh, panel page, I'll call this home page and call this um, pan one and make this side now. I don't need that. We're in panel and I say continue. Build a and call him one. Call him one. Continue. Uh, disable block and regions. Yes, continue. And right, we want to make this. Let's make this finished first. And then I want to make that two. Uh, two page layout layouts make that two columns two columns or oh, we make this one one column for now uh, one column continue uh, so uh, okay and then content let's create content add content I'm just creating a very simple uh, layout new custom content we'll call this home page to his own page and let's keep your body let's copy some dummy text and just see um, paste that in here and click on finish and click on save and so we should have created that page okay on page right so let's uh, create a new content okay so let's create a new uh, page so panels uh, panel page let's go with this um, page 2 we'll give you pan 2 and yeah continue uh, make these two columns two columns continue uh, disable dribble blocks click on continue and I will create art content uh, new custom content let's go with this page 2 and let's give you body uh, copy that Center C paste that in there finish and let's do that for the other side art content here goes some content uh, still page 2 and let's go some content and you see is that in there click on finish and finish and uh, update and save let's see what page looks like summary and 2 so we've got the second page as our first page, our second page, and uh, let's create one more page. So let's do structure panels, and let's add a new panel page again. Let's call this about us and pan three, and continue. Uh, let's make this one three columns. Uh, use that one, continue. Don't worry, this is a very fast tutorial. I assume you already have an idea of um, 
panels uh, for this else you can just create your normal page it should work fine also for this tutorial uh, so yes let's add the content new custom content section one copy that there finish add another section new custom content I call this section two and let's cut some dummy text don't you see is that in there finish let's get called new dummy text for section three okay add content new custom content we call this section three paste the text there click on finish and finish right uh, we didn't set the menu okay let's make a menu so no 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 menu entry we call it um and we'll call these um sections and we make it on the main menu click on update and save and if you go to summary and pan three we should see sections now appearing so we want to also make these into the menu and the panel menu we call these normal menu entry about us menu menu click on update and save and uh, we refresh this bit now okay so we've got about us we've got sections and we've got home okay that's not our home so where's our home oh, yep so we edit panel and uh, let's give you a menu we call it um, real home make it also main menu update and save and um let's see what it looks like now so we've got the real um about our sections okay so let's restructure our menu main menu let's restructure that so uh, make this the real um uh for this tutorial i don't need the home page so i disable that make that the real home page save configuration and i close that and yep so we've got a real um, about us and sections so we've got three pages which we want to use for our single page website so to continue uh, in this tutorial the next thing we want to do is download this single page website module i'll be using drush for this uh, tutorial if not just download it normally and extract it into your modules folder so i do drush uh, download single underscore page underscore page underscore website and let's go website and yeah that should download the module for me i think it's dependent on another module so i'm not sure let's enable that now drush enable single underscore page underscore website and i say yes okay that should enable the single page website and yeah do you want to continue yes was enabled successfully right so the next thing you want to know is um um the there are some libraries which you need to download the php query library uh the jquery library and the asian library so if we open this uh, that's the php library you want to make sure you're downloading the one file.zip not any other one one file.zip uh the other library is not available at the time of recording and we've also downloaded the jquery easing 1.3.js once you've downloaded those files you want to um, put them in a libraries folder and with that i have done something already so if i if you look at my libraries yeah there it is already and so i can copy this folder copy open there if i go to c and um, go to wamp uh, wamp ww and uh, for this i'm using lenin so uh, lenin and um all sites or oh, i've got all libraries folder already so i can 
go to desktop uh, um, libraries copy this C and my libraries I paste that in there so I've copied my jQuery the easing uh, library and PHP query library as we've been asked to do them here once you've done that um, we come back to this page and if we go to configuration and go to site uh, yeah. I refresh that now alright uh, I think I click on and refresh uh, if I clear cache I should clear my cache Uh, so we've enabled a uh, module called the single page. The next thing I want to do is uh, if I go to configuration, um, here is now the single page settings, and uh, you can select what team you're using. We're using Batik, which is the default. I go back to configuration, go to site information, and on my own front page, I set it at single underscore page and I click on save configuration so now if I go back to home uh, oh that does not work okay and click on submit yeah that should work fine now yep uh, so now we've got our single page website working so if I click about us it goes there freshes freshes uh, let's click our cache for sure cache so that it can work fine if we click our cache right so what else sections uh, yeah so basically that's how to create a single page uh, website in Drupal 7 very amazing module uh, so uh, that brings us to the end of the tutorial. Try it out and see how uh, crazy things you can do.